Right, let's try some long division um, in algebra. So the first one I have here is 15x squared plus 4x minus 32. And I'd like to divide that by 3x minus 4. Okay, so the key to these is we concentrate on the x terms when we're dividing. So we look at what is 15x squared divided by 3x. It, it's too hard to work with both terms here on the outside, so we concentrate on the x terms. So my question is, what is 15x squared divided by 3x? 15x squared divided by 3x. Okay, 15x squared is 15x by x over 3 by x. They'll cancel. 3 goes into 15 5 times, so 5x. Or a, a different way of looking at it, what must I multiply by 3x to bring it up to 15x squared? Okay, and that would be 5x. So the next job, we multiply that 5x by both terms on the outside. So this is where we must heed the minus 4 now, we don't get to ignore it again. So the first one I'm going to do is 5x by 3x. So 5 3s, 15 x by x, x squared. And then I go, what is 5x by minus 4? Well, let me do the sign first. So plus by minus is a minus. 5 by 4 is 20. And then, of course, I have the x up there too. So we put a line under it. You change the sign because we want to get the difference between them. Um, and the reason this one here in the middle is a plus is I'm going to go minus minus that. And minus minus will be a plus, okay? So again, another way of looking at this step is change the sign, change the sign. Because that's what happens when you subtract. And you get the x squared terms to cancel. I then have plus 4 plus 20x, so I have plus 24x there. Take down the minus 32, because we haven't used that yet. Okay, and then we repeat the process. Okay, so we ignore this piece here. Okay, I'm going to say, what must I multiply by 3x to make it 24x? Okay, or... What is 24x divided by 3x? So I'm doing the exact same thing all over again here. So the x is cancelled. 3 into 24 goes 8 times. So the plus 8 goes up here. And just like before, I'm going to multiply that plus 8 by the two terms on the outside. So 8 by 3x is 24x. 8 by minus 4, 8, 16, 24, 32. Then change the sign, change the sign because we want to get the remainder, what's left over. 24x cancels with minus 24x, minus 32 cancels with plus 32 and we get 0. So our answer is what's up on top, 5x plus 8. Okay, in other words, when you divide 15x squared plus 4x minus 32 by 3x minus 4, you get 5x plus 8. Okay, or another way of looking at it, if you take 5x plus 8, then you multiply it by 3x plus 4, which was the other factor here on the outside. When you multiply those out, you should get 15x squared plus 4x minus 32. And try that and show yourself how it's all linked together so that's one example of long division let's try another one so this is a cubed um, and i want to show you this it's the same thing again except we have an extra block so that's one block two blocks the cube is the same thing except we'll have a third block so same question again what must i multiply it by x to bring it up to 2x cubed i definitely need a 2 I have 1x there, but I have 3 of them here, 
so I need two more. Take that 2x squared and multiply it by the two terms on the outside. So 2x squared by x is 2x cubed. 2x squared by minus 5 is minus 10x squared. Change the sign, change the sign. Okay, and this is what should always happen if you're right. The first term, the most left term should cancel. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed does indeed cancel. And when I say cancel, I mean cancel to zero. And then we have minus 9 plus 10. So that's 1x squared or just x squared. And take down then these two terms that we haven't used yet. Okay, and then we do it again. It's like up here doesn't exist. It's got nothing got to do with the sum from now on. Now we're concentrating on x minus 5 into x squared minus 10x plus 5. So I say the same thing again. Get rid of these. What must I multiply by x to bring it up to x squared? Well, in this case, a single x will do it. I take that x and I multiply it by both terms on the outside. So x by x will be x squared. x by minus 5 there on the outside will be minus 5x. Put a line under it. Change the sign, change the sign. And we should get the most left to cancel. So x squared minus x squared does indeed cancel. Looks good. And then I have minus 10 plus 5. And I get minus 5x. And take down then the 25. Let's do it again. Because I'm still not at zero here, so I'm not finished. This has nothing got to do with it now. We're finished with those two blocks. Block 1, block 2. Okay. We're now comparing x minus 5. Or seeing how that divides into minus 5x plus 25. So I'll ask the same question again. Delete out the two arrows. What must I multiply it by x to bring it up to minus 5x? I definitely need a minus. I need a 5. I don't need the x though because I'll go 5x there to make it 5x. Okay. And then I take that minus 5 and I multiply it by both terms here on the outside. So let's do that. Minus 5 by x is minus 5x. Minus by minus is a plus, five fives are 25. Put a line under it, change the sign, change the sign. And then I have minus 5x plus 5x cancels, plus 25 minus 25 cancels, so I have zero. So my answer, 2x squared plus x minus 5. Okay, so it's the same process that I repeated there three times over. So initially these look like there's a load of steps to them. But once it clicks, you'll see I'm doing the exact same process in each of what I call the blocks. Each of these three blocks, I repeat the process and just keep adding to my answer up the top. Okay. And then let's have a look at this one. I forgot to write down what it was divided by, so give me one sec now to find it in the book. Divided by 3a plus 4. Can we add that in? Okay. So, what must I multiply by 3a to bring it up to 6a cubed? Okay, so 6a cubed. I have 3a on the bottom. And 6, let's do the factors of 6. So 3 by 2 will do 6. And then a cubed, a by a by a. That dot also means multiplied, okay? So then let's see what cancels. And a cancels, the 3 cancels. So what do I need to multiply by 3a to bring it up to 6a cubed? Well, 2, because 2 3s will make it 6. I have 1a there, but I need 3 of them. So I need 2 more. So 2a squared is what I need for this one. So 2a squared. Okay, let's multiply that by both terms on the outside. 
So 2a squared by 3a. Well, let's do the number first. Two threes are six. A squared by another a is three of them. So it's a cubed. And then let's multiply 2a squared by 4. Well, let's do the numbers first. So 4 twos are 8. And then my letters have no letter there, but I have an a squared there, so it's a squared. Put a line under it. Change the sign. Change the sign. And the left, most left term should cancel to 0. 6a cubed minus 6a cubed cancels. And then we have plus 5 minus 8a squared. So how many have we? We'll end up with minus 3a squared. Let's take these down because we haven't used these yet. So we need to incorporate them into the sum. Okay, and let's do it again. Okay, we're done with block 1. What must I multiply by 3a to bring it up to minus 3a squared? To make it a minus, I definitely need to put one up there. I'm good with the number, 3 and 3, that matches. I have an a squared there, but only one of them there, so I need an a up the top. Okay. Next, we take that minus a and we multiply it by both terms on the outside. And again, I'm trying to get the left-hand one to cancel. So minus by plus out here will be a minus. My number, well, there's always a 1 there. 1 by 3 is 3. a by a will give me the a squared. Okay, now let's multiply minus a by plus 4. Minus, sorry, minus by plus is a minus. My number, 4 by 1 is 4. And then my letters, I have a single a there. Put a line under it, change the sign, change the sign, okay, and my most left term should cancel. So minus 3a plus 3a does indeed cancel. I have minus 21 plus 4a, sorry, minus 25 plus 4a will give me minus 21a. And take down the minus 28, I haven't used that yet. And do it again. Done with block one, now done with block two, on to block three. What must I multiply by 3a to bring it up to minus 21a? Okay, well the a's cancel. The 3 into 21 goes 7 times, so I need a minus 7. Okay. And then I need to... Multiply the minus 7 by the two terms on the outside. So minus 7 by 3a is minus 21a. Minus 7 by plus 4 plus by minus is a minus 7 fours 28. Put a line under it. Change the sign. Change the sign. That cancels. That cancels. And you're left with zero. And like I was saying in class, um, it will always be a remainder zero on the Leaving Cert and Junior Cert course. So your answer is all those little pieces we were adding to the top. 2a cubed, sorry, 2a squared minus a minus 7. Okay, so I hope that is clearer. Just keep practicing all three until the steps start to fall into place um, and that needs to happen even before you try any new sums.